the clock continues to tick away as we move towards the first hundred days of Kenya Kwanzaa's government. We must hail the president and his team for continuing to steer the ship, for continuing to do the things that will see this country move forward. There are challenges in implementing some of the manifesto promises some of the things they said, and we do understand. It is always easier when you are outside. When you come inside, you come face to face with challenges. And therefore, I will not join those who are saying the price of fuel should have gone down, the price of hunger should have gone down, much as it is desirable. I know something will be done about it. But today, I want to challenge his Excellency the President, that there are things you promised. There are things that you may not have promised, but things that should be done immediately. Things that have no, com no financial implications. We can give you time to work on the price of hunger and petrol, but there are things you don't need money to do, yet they are critical things. Today, I ask the president, please reveal to us the contracts that are the subject of discussion. The SGR contract, which President Uhuru promised to reveal and release but he left State House without telling us about the SGR contract. I asked the president to give the country the SGR contract because that, that doesn't cost him any money. It is important for us to know what is, the, what is contained in that SGR contract. It is important because in Tanzania, Magofuli was faced with the same challenge of signing a similar contract. And he said only a mad person could sign such a contract. Al sema ni mutu wazimu peke yake anaweza kuweka saini kwenye mkataba kama uo na wachina. Yes, so we want the president of the Republic of Kenya to make public the SGR contract. This will save the country from further blunders, if indeed they were blunders. The contract that Tanzania under Magufuli refused to sign was auctioning the country. So the president must give us the contract in broad daylight. Related to this will be the promise by the president to move the port from Nairobi and Naivasha and take it back to Mombasa. Because unless you know what is in the contract, relocating the port from Mom Naivasha and Nairobi to Mombasa could remain hot air. Supposing in that contract, the Chinese control the entire port and there is nothing you can do within that port. How then will you implement your promise to relocate Naivasha port, the, the, the port from Naivasha to Mombasa? Won't it just be hot air? And while at that, I'm wanting to know and I'm not the only person wanting to know. What exactly does it mean to relocate the port from Naivasha? What happens to the infrastructure development, the land? How, what is this relocating the port from Naivasha to Mombasa? Is it really possible that the Mombasa we knew will come back 
And the activities that we are talking about were about busybodies and conmen and brokers moving with forms for signature, for clearance. That won't be the case because payment shall be done online. Clearance is still online. So if you think about relocating from Naivasha to Mombasa in the old sense, then you miss the point. But more fundamentally, Kenyans want to know what is contained in that contract. It does not cost the government any money to tell us. While at that, we want to know pending deals. Mombasa, Nairobi Highway. What is the deal inside? Who are the people who had bid? Who are the people who are almost getting? Who are going to get? Who are going to do it? What are the details of the deal? We are told the expressway, a beautiful project, is a PPP that the government does not spend money. How true is that? How true is, that, is it that government does not spend money on the expressway? Because you could as well enter into a contract with somebody, they build the expressway, but you cater for other things, disruption of services, water, electricity, compensate land, and you spend a lot of money. Why are you talking about compensation of land? There were so many issues with the SGR compensation. Crooks who bought land were compensated, but the real owners, places like Kedonga here, they were not compensated. They should be compensated. We need these contracts to be made public. We want the real deal of expressway. We want to know the Mombasa Nairobi Highway. What is the real deal? We want to look at those contracts and see where is the labor component in that, in, the, in, the, in that contract? Are Kenyans going to work on the deal, in the contract? We want to look at technology transfer. So yes, we want the president of Kenya to reveal not just the SGR contract. We want all these contracts to be made public. And I'm speaking in the interest of the Chinese. The Chinese may think I'm wrong. But in the future, you will not be dealing with African presidents. You will be dealing with angry Africans who will not honor the contracts you entered into with their presidents, with their leaders. If those contracts auction their countries, if you auction ports, the people of Africa will refuse to honor those contracts. You will not beat them. You will not kill them. You will not arrest them. You lose. So going forward, two things. One, presidents of Africa, beginning with the president of Kenya, must make contracts public, beginning with revealing this year contract. Two, the Chinese must never enter into contracts that enslave the, enslave the African people, that are extremely exploitative, that are one-sided, thinking because they are protected by the African leaders, you are not safe. Government must come clean on a number of things. IMF, I understand, and you cannot convince me otherwise, unless I'm wrong. We are being pushed into privatizing our assets. We have a bad history. How much did we get for pan paper? How much did we get for telecom? What was the railway deal? Privatization, we throw away assets that have been created with the sweat and blood of Kenyans, throwing them away to our friends and collaborators. So as we move into this privatization of prime assets, prime, 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 prime enterprises, prime, critical even to the country, we are going to throw them away. I beseech the President of the Republic of Kenya, let the people of Kenya look at the contracts that we have had with the Chinese and other people, beginning with SGR. Let us look at ongoing contracts. Let's look at the contracts that we are going to enter into, especially the PPPs. I ask the President 
to let the people of Kenya know why we are selling certain parastatals and why those ones and why the money we are going to be given is peanuts. We ask the president because this does not cost us any money. It will not cost President William Ruto a shilling to give the people of Kenya the SGR contract and tell them, here it is. It is as bad as you see. What do we do? And we shall tell our brothers from China, let us renegotiate afresh. You cannot pin a man down the way you have pinned us. It is not even in your interest. And the Chinese are not foolish people. They will agree we renegotiate if the contracts are ugly. We remove some of the provisions that turn us into slaves if they are there. But should they refuse, we shall sacrifice to Tafunga Mshipi, to Talalanja, to Tawalipa Denizao Zote. Earlier than it was stipulated. But we shall tell them, you will never come here for a contract. Never. We are going to sacrifice to Takula Ugali na Chumvi. Tutakunywa uji asubuhi tutawalipa madeni zenu lakini hamutarudi hapa katwa you will never come back here for a single thing for that reason i ask the president show us the sgr contract show us other contracts tell us why we have identified prime parastatals for sale why must we sell them why can't we reform them why can't we get competent Kenyans to run those parastatals and tell somebody you are running this? It must achieve its objectives. It must pay for its stuff. It must pay for itself. Otherwise, don't take the job. But if the president convinces us that there is sense in selling a certain parastatal, we will agree after we've been convinced. But then we shall also demand that none of our parastatals, none of our assets goes for a song. I remember sometimes back they were trying to sell, was it Kenya Rio or something? At a price where at the going, the, the money they were going to get was not even half of what you would sell if you, you would get if you sold one of their buildings. Let's say a parastatal has Three buildings, and Masari Towers, for example, the Insurance Plaza, and among other assets. And you, you wanted to go for half a billion. Yet with half a billion, you can't get one of the properties. Pan paper went for less than a billion. Even if you sold the scrap metal there, you'll get big money. You have not talked of the land and the asset they have elsewhere. I'm hoping, really hoping, and praying, and asking that going forward, let's think about this country. Let's think about our children and their children. Let's think about generations to come. Let's make life meaningful for Kenyans. Let's not throw away our assets. But in order for that to happen, finally, we must be transparent and open the things we do. Government should not enter into deals in a secretive manner. And in order to con confirm that's where we are now going, we are going in the direction where government is open. Give us the SGR contract. Give us the SGR contract. Give us the SGR contract.